Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the surface area of a cube. And remember, the surface area is the total area of the outside part or layer of a 3D figure. So when we're taking a look at cubes, we can find the surface area by finding the area of one face and multiplying it by six, because a cube has six faces and each face has the same area. So if we find the area of one face, we can just multiply it by six and we get the surface area. There's also a formula over here that does the exact same thing as finding one area and multiplying it by six. It's just in formula form there. So surface area equals six times one side length squared. So let's jump into our example where we have a cube with a side length of three feet. So we need to find the area of one face. So we can use area equals length times width for a square. So for a cube, we have that three feet times, well, every side length is the same for a cube. It's made up of square faces. So every side length is going to be three feet. So we can do three times three to find the area of one face and three times three is nine. So the area of, let's say we did the front face there, the area of that front face is nine square feet. So over here to the right, I laid out a net of that cube. A net is when you unfold a 3D figure. So we can kind of better visualize what we're doing here. So the front has an area of nine square feet. So we need to find um, the surface area, again, the area of all the faces. So we can think of it as all the faces having an area of nine square feet. So if you kind of picture folding that net up, we would just get this cube right here. Um, so nine times six is going to give us the surface area. So we could do surface area equals nine times six, and nine times six gives us an answer of 54 square feet. So again, we found the area of one face, the front here, and we have six faces total. So we multiply that nine by six to give us the total surface area. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the formula too. We could do surface area equals six times a side length squared. So that S squared or three squared in this case gives us the area of one of the faces. It's the same as doing length times width for a square. So we can plug in one of our side lengths, which is three feet. So six times three squared. Now due to order of operations, we need to do three squared first, which is three times three is nine and then multiply by six. So we get the same answer of 54 square feet if we use the formula as well. So there you have it. There's how you find the surface area of a cube. Again, find the area of one face and multiply that area by six because a cube has six faces and all of them with an equivalent area. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.